this video today, I'm going to be breaking down my exact strategy that has generated me an extra $50,000 in revenue for my business in the last year, complete without any additional marketing expenses or anything like that, as well as this, a few other ways you can increase your overall profits for your business. As you may know, I specialize mainly in Shopify, Google, and Facebook ads, but this really will apply to most business owners watching this video. Now, just before we do jump into it, I want to quickly mention if you are struggling with Google ads, feel free to check out my Google ads agency link at the top of the description. We specialize in help e-commerce businesses manage, grow and scale their Google ads. So if you are struggling, click the link in the description. We'd love to help as many of you out as possible. Okay, first imagine this, you're at the point now where you're getting about 20 orders a day on your business, whether this is Shopify or something else. You're making a profit, but it's not quite as much as you'd hoped for. It might be around the 10, 15% margin and you want to increase that margin to ultimately increase what you're left with at the end of the day as profit. Now, this is a very generic example and let's say on those 20 orders a day, you're selling a product for $30. Now, some of you may already be way above this threshold of 20 orders. Some of you might be below it or some of you might be floating around that per day. But anyway, something I advocate on massively in so many of my videos is don't be afraid to price your items higher. Now, let's use this example again, 20 orders a day for a $30 product. Let's say you increase that price from $30 to $37.50, which really isn't a big increase. So an extra $7.50 per order. Based on 20 orders a day, that is an extra $150 profit per day, which works out to be an extra $1,050 profit per week, $4,500 profit per month and $54,750 profit per year extra profit that you wouldn't have had had you not have increased your prices now whether you mainly get your traffic from Google Ads Facebook Ads TikTok or anything else this is something really worth trying because I find with so many people I work with and that approach me they underprice their products or their services and just a small increase can make such a huge difference but I guess the big question is what should I increase my prices to now this is where today Today's video sponsor comes in Priya.ai. This is an AI tool you can integrate with your Shopify store that syncs up with all of your products. It analyzes millions of data points regarding your products, such as industry, current price, the market your products are being served towards. And based on the data it analyzes, it will give you suggestions or automatically adjust the price of your products for you to maximize that revenue and maximize your overall profit. A great example of this is if Priya's AI tool analyzes and finds a particular product in your store is likely to sell at its highest price on a Sunday evening, for example, it will automatically increase the price of your product ready for that Sunday evening. So you're not gonna have to sit on your computer and analyze loads of data points. This does it all for you. It changes the prices for you. Like I said, essentially maximize the money you're making from every single sale. Based on the 250 plus brands that Priya has integrated with already, their data is already showing that their tool achieves up to 73% better pricing efficiency than if I or any other human were to set the prices of their product. So to put it simply, it knows better than you when you need to increase your prices to reduce them to maximize those sales and maximize that profit. And already Priya has generated over three and a half million dollars in extra revenue just from these slight price increases for the brands it's already integrated with. And like I said earlier, so many people underprice their products and are almost scared to increase it just by, you know, a slight margin because they fear they're going to miss out on the sale. But if your website is really good, if it's quick, if it's trustworthy and not a typical Cool, spammy you know one hour quickly built you know Shopify store once you build that trust there you can afford to sell your products for a slightly higher price and you really don't need to be the cheapest amongst your competitors to see success to get sales and to be honest if you're always undercutting your competitors you're never gonna have any margin to work with and you'll probably end up losing money after all other expenses are paid now similar to the ad platforms we're used to such as Google and Facebook there is a learning phase with this AI software but like Google in particular, the longer you leave it running, the more optimized and the better it will perform for you. So once you have integrated the software, you don't have to use all your products at once for this. If you wanted to, you could just start by selecting two or three products to have this AI tool collect data for and adjust prices for you. And once you see it work for two or three, you can then maybe do five or six and eventually you'll probably find your entire catalog of products is being managed by this tool and the prices are gonna be regularly set for you with this tool 
without you having to lift a finger to maximize that profit for your business. So moving into 2024, AI is amongst us and it is becoming more and more used within business today. And this is just a great example of how it can free up your time and maximize your profits. So please do click the link in the description to install this on your Shopify or Wix store. And thank you again for Priya.ai for sponsoring today's video. Now, part two to this video, as I mentioned at the start, is how I added an extra 50K of revenue to my business in the last year without any additional you know, marketing spend or anything like that. Now, upsells have been around for years and years and years. I'm sure a lot of you have maybe tried upsell apps on Shopify that either haven't succeeded, you know, you've not really noticed any return from them or they've just been a pain to set up and they might be, you know, too buggy and things like that. Personally, I've used Aftersell for both of my businesses for two or three years now and the consistency in results it brings me is just incredible and it's not really something I spend too much time on. Obviously there's the initial setup where you're choosing which products to upsell for certain products but once you have everything in place, I mean for example with me I haven't touched this in probably two or three months but you can see on your screen now this is for my US business. In the last 365 days you can see just over 50k in extra revenue and what this is, this is a post purchase upsell app so when a customer goes to your website and they purchase a product on place an order on the customer thank you page instead of it just being you know a summary of their order there will be some product recommendations on there that they can then add to their order and you know a couple of clicks they will have then purchased some additional products which will increase that spend from that customer and like i said there's no additional ad spend for this and there's really no reason not to try because if a customer spends a hundred dollars in your store why not try and get them to spend you know 125 by adding you know a small upsell to, at the end the customer has already converted they've already got that trust in your brand there's no additional trust building needed there they're ready to buy because they have purchased already and that is why the conversion rate is usually really good on post purchase upsells so this column here you can see I'm obviously going to blur out this column here uh, because that's the product name and what these are these are the different funnels for the post purchase thing so to put this into context this row here you can see $1,500 in the last 30 days of extra revenue. Now this is my best selling product. AOV is a couple hundred dollars. And what this upsell is, it's not upselling them the same product again. It is a complimentary accessory for this main product that goes hand in hand with it and just helps the overall experience with the main product. I mean, a really good example is like if someone buys an Xbox, you upsell them another controller, that type of thing an accessory to go with the main product that's probably the best way of putting it and you can throw in a little discount there i usually i usually offer about 10 to 20 percent off on the post purchase upsells as a kind of another little incentive for them to go through and you know make that additional purchase now just an example of what this might look like on your thank you page obviously i'm going to need to blur out the pictures and the product names and stuff but this is how i've got one of my upsells structured a lot of them are slightly different from each other i sort of test different offers um so you can see once customer places the order they're hit with this screen Screen here and instead of it just being the normal thank you page the upsells are right at the top I've given the customer a few options here of things they want to add to that they could add to their order sorry once they've made a choice and if they want to they simply click the add to order button it will then refresh the checkout page with this new item in the customer's basket if you like and then it will literally be another one click to place the order so it will come through as a separate order it won't be added to the original order and that is because this is the post purchase thank you page upsells this app does have the ability for the one click upsells before the thank you page but that is a completely separate video because that is a bit more technical and again here on the right hand side is you know offering the same product but having it more in their face it just increases that chance and a bit of scarcity here this is the only time i'll ever use countdown timers and that is on these post purchase upsells I'll never use countdown timers on product pages, cart pages, or the checkout itself, only on these post-purchase upsells. And you don't necessarily, you know, need to upsell products here. You could upsell things like faster shipping, uh, you know, warranties and things like that. So it's a good way to, you know, perhaps upsell digital products or digital services that your business may offer. And at least then there's no additional product costs. It's a complete 100% profit if you decide to go that route. It really is a no-brainer to start branching out and adding these small extra areas of extra revenue to your business once you've nailed and dialed in your advertising side of things that cold traffic and getting that consistent flow of customers coming to your store and ordering 
it is then time to focus on maximizing your profits because if you completely forget about things like this then i know it's a cliche saying but you really are leaving money on the table if you're not trying to maximize the revenue from each customer that comes to your store and purchases so these are two great ways to increase your profit for the business i'll leave the link for after sale in the description as well thank you again for priya.ai for sponsoring today's video it is an absolute must if you want to get the most profit out of each sale you get for your business but other than that more google facebook and shopify videos to come if you are new around here please do subscribe thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.